This is Stacy Safchak for Tech Times, and I'm going to be reviewing the Adobe Clip mobile video editing app. Here we have some video taken on the Staten Island Ferry. If you want to do a quick review, you can play it through. Now, this looks like a nice clip, so I think I'm going to use it, and uh, I'm going to select that one, and so forth. So you select all the videos you want to include in your project, we're going to press Add to Project, this purple bar down here. Here we are. We've got our Staten Island Ferry Clips, and um, now we can tap anywhere on the screen to see our controls for actually editing the individual clips. You've got two purple handles on the sides here, and basically you manually drag the handles to the beginning and end of the part of the clip that you want to keep. And that is the clip that I'm going to use. Here to the right, I have some setting controls. And these include a, an exposure setting, a highlight setting, and a shadow setting. You also have a sound control here, speed control. And this actually gives you the option of playing a clip in slow motion. It would be nice to also have an option to speed up footage. And um, finally, you have a duplicate option, and this will give you the opportunity to reuse it later in the project, maybe, whatever you want to do. One of the things I can do um, very easily in this program is just move my clips from one place to another. So now we're going to go on to a little bit of finishing on this video. So I have a couple of options here. I can give my individual clips some various looks. Sort of like Instagram, you've got filters on here that will give you a different kind of photographic effect. Um, I would like for my video to um, fade in from black, so I'm just going to select on that here. And then you have a fade out option for either the other side of the clip or the end of the video. So we have a crossfade option here. You can universally select on that, and that will crossfade all of your clips, and that will give you a crossfading effect like this. I'm going to select on my last tab, and I'm just going to fade out. So now we've got all the pieces in place. We've got them edited down. We've got them color corrected, essentially, and um, we've got our um, fade in and fade out effects. The last thing we're going to do is add some music. And we have an audio feature here, some music samples. Picking one at random, we're going to pick, how about streams? This has been our review of Adobe's Clip mobile editing program. It's very easy to use, lots of great basic features. A few things that would be nice to have, but that really don't prevent this from being a really useful and simple to use uh, program for people who take a lot of video and are interested in turning it around as quickly as possible. Maybe are interested in sharing it as quickly as possible.